the bus lights, the bus flasher lights. They seem like a really cool idea. I like them. Carrie likes them. The problem is, is the seals are bad on them. They're gonna leak. They're gonna be a constant problem. And I just don't want water getting in the bus that way. So uh, they're gonna get welded up today. I think every one of those was stripped. And you can see like, this is why. It's just really cheap and it's like 30 years old. It's just not gonna last. It's gotta go, it's gotta go, sorry. Even these cool light bulbs. I wonder if I could repurpose these. I don't know, we'll find out. That's gonna be perfect. Just a little tack, 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 all the way around. And then we'll grind down the tack welds and then bondo it and you won't even know it was there. 460. welds are super bad because I'm not shielding the gas. It's flowing CO2 and argon out of here to shield the weld. The wind is coming through and blowing it away. And so these are unshielded welds. And so they look all bubbly and crappy because of that. Oh. So that's why we'll just grind them back. But this isn't structural, so I'm not too worried. As long as it sticks here and then I can uh, bondo it up, it'll be fine. It looks janky. But when we're done, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's a windshield sheet. For those of you that have that do any welding or are just starting out, never let your fresh like your weld sparks fall on glass because it'll just immediately scar it. Like you gotta block it with something and that'll be You'll regret it right away. Do you have a uh, personal experience with this? I have some personal experience. It wasn't my <laughs> truck though. It was my <laughs> boss's truck. He told me to weld this thing on. He's like, do you know how to weld? I'm like, oh yeah. I went up there and I welded the crap out of it. And then I went down and I'm like, oh, it looks great. <gasps>
So that's just temporary. We have to come back and sand this all anyway for painting. And we're gonna put down some uh, special stuff to fill in the pinholes. And we're gonna sand to like 400 grit here, 500, whatever, 600. Something to make this really, really smooth here uh, before we uh, primer this and shoot this the next time. So this is essentially just to uh, keep it from rusting and make it look good. <laughs> if I did this right, then that light probably would come on. Let me flip the switch on that light right there. Is it the bulb or that's okay. a give me that little uh, that tester you had the yellow tester the magic wand yeah. oh I know what it is what right there so I'm gonna add wire to that one also to come out here I don't know like all this stuff just needs to be done yeah and it just hasn't been done so. I'm just glad we're taking care of it now. Unfinished bussiness. Quite important unfinished bussiness though. Well now we're at that point. I mean before it just didn't seem like it was a rush to be done. You know, it was like, no. oh, we're not doing the electrical yet anyway. We've got plenty of time for that. Now, the time is upon us. It is upon us. Electric is coming. <laughs> it is coming. Man, it's crazy how much light this skylight actually lets in back here. Best decision ever. Yeah. Like, just totally a great decision to do skylights. Well, and I'm particularly happy with the opaque white color. Me too. Zero complaints. Yeah, it's like alabaster skylight. Alabaster. That's it. <laughs> it sounds very fancy. Oh yes, we have alabaster skylights yes, alabaster. on our bus conversion. We've got the alabasters. Boom. Ta -da! Finally. Shore light. Now we're now we're cooking with power. All right. Okay, you want to plug it on that side over there? Boom. Shaka-laka. All right. All right, let's find out what everything else goes to. Do you want to... Use the magic wand? Stick this in the... Yes, I do. Okay, let's watch for the light to go off. Okay. Off. Okay. On, on, still on, off. I wanted to share something with you guys that, uh, something I wanted to do since I got the bus and uh, we had talked about it right from the early, early beginnings. And that was to repurpose those lights up there. I just didn't want to waste those lights in the back. We decided to keep the ones in the back but I didn't want to, uh, you know, they couldn't be emergency lights anymore. They actually had to be something. And so I, I tied them in to the turn signal. I'm going to get orange ones for up there. But you can see the turn signal working with that one. And it works on the other side too. And I've also made the brake lights work on the inside ones. But I have to have the engine running to do that. And I just don't have it running because then you wouldn't be able to hear me but uh brake lights work and the uh, turn signal so it's kind of cool just a little something i wanted to get done and uh we did ow did you hit your head yeah <laughs> you're getting the eyebrow down there the littered minefield of what it looks like after you're done working <laughs> You just drop everything hey, to the I ground. I was up on a ladder. It's how it's supposed you're to at. happen. <laughs> anyway, the cleaning lady will be here at four. Whatever, I'm here right now. <laughs> I don't want